So next I want to talk to you a little bit about the menu on the left hand side. So this menu on the left hand side pulls out and I'll pull that menu out and we can see a number of tabs on the left hand side. So I'm going to hit the setup button and if you want you can go to the setup screen by accessing that tab. I'll close that, pull that tab out again. Restroom Mechanics is available there. So I'm going to touch the Restroom Mechanics tab. And now you see a series of different types of restroom mechanics that you can actually do. For example, this is the inspiratory pause one. And there's instructions right in this area to let you know what you need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the start button and simulate what it would be like to do an inspiratory pause. So I touch the start button. It puts the pause on. You can see it in white. And then it will display the values on the right hand side. So basically I have a plateau of 24 and I have a compliance of 26. Because I wasn't in a square wave pattern, I don't have a resistance value. And you can decide based upon the graphics whether or not that was a good maneuver or not. And you decide whether to accept it or not. So I just hit accept. On this screen it will save three uh, measurements. Working my way down the tab, you have the expiratory pause maneuver which is done the same way with the start button. Vital capacity, same way, hit the start button. P100, and once again, it just hits start, uh, hit the start button, and then finally the NIF button. Now on the NIF, it says go ahead and touch and hold the button. So I'm going to go ahead and touch this. I'm going to hold it, and then as the patient makes the maneuver, you'll see on the graph the actual NIF procedure. At some point, you'll decide when you want to stop the maneuver. I'll take my finger off the NIF, and then it'll give you basically the graph. It'll give you the actual value and then you can decide if you want to accept or reject it. So that's what's inside the Restroom Mechanics tab. The Restroom Mechanics can also be accessed to a limited uh, feature set on the actual what we call the bezel or the lower part of the screen and I'll talk more about that a little bit later. So let's go back and see what else is under that tab on the left hand side. There is a standby button. So sometimes you may want to take a patient off the ventilator and move them. If I touch the standby button it gives me a prompt here and it says disconnect the patient within 30 seconds. So I'll disconnect my patient and now the prompt says confirm. So I'll go ahead and confirm that I've disconnected my patient and then the machine will basically be in the standby mode without alarming. Now in terms of hooking the patient back up and continuing ventilation from a safety perspective we wanted to make it seamless for that patient and so I can simply hook the patient back up and it'll start ventilating. And that's the way I'm going to uh, kind of demonstrate here. So all I did was hook my patient back up. Uh, there was a button you could push to start the gas flow if you wanted, but you don't need to do that. Just simply hook your patient back up. So that's the standby function. And now if I look, uh, there is screen capture. And so we um, talked about the screen capture already. I'll just kind of show you what that looks like again. There is the previous screen captures that we had. And then finally, there is also the trending button. And so I'm going to talk a little bit more about trending a little bit further down the road. But that's one of the access points.